Oh. Good afternoon, I'm Nate Myhock and welcome to Up North at 4. Today we'll hear about food for kids, we'll have a ride with Liney and a golf outing that's all taking place this weekend. We'll get to all that in a bit, but first, here's your top four at 4. Drivers in Wisconsin off the ha often have to keep their eyes peeled for deer or other critters that might jump out at them. But in Alabama, you'll have to be on the lookout for demon dolls. A now viral video shows a driver getting scared by a life-size version of Chucky. If you don't remember, Chucky was the star of horror movies in the 80s and 90s. And obviously, it wasn't the real killer doll, but just a rambunctious five-year-old who enjoys dressing up in Halloween costumes. Although typewriters have fallen out of favor over the past few decades, they've begun making a comeback recently, just not in the way that you would expect. A group in Boston is using the analog keyboards to make music. They call themselves the Boston Typewriter Orchestra, and according to them, they're, quote, just a bunch of weirdos that kind of liked to bang on typewriters. You know, I grew up with two older brothers, so I know what it's like to have a sibling rivalry, but we did not grow up to be professional baseball players like Luis and Ramon Urias, who made some history last night. Both brothers homered for their teams, Luis, of course, for the Brewers, and Ramon for the Baltimore Orioles. Better yet, both squads will go on to win their respective games. And sticking with Milwaukee now, on the other side of the city, the Bucks unveiled a new alternate look. The team dropped a hype video and a few looks at their new black uniform. You know, I'll be honest, kind of sick and tired of the black. Let's get some throwback purple in there or something, please. And Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller <laughs> joining us now live in studio. Jeff, I feel like we could have come up with a better look for the I Bucks. I got some Don't purple on today. That purple would do well, I think. That's what All right, saying. let's talk about weather, though. Some clouds out there this morning, followed by lots of sunshine, but then the clouds have rolled back in, and now there are a couple of rain showers out there as we speak. Those will linger through about sunset tonight, and then tomorrow, a couple of more showers back in the forecast for tomorrow. Right now, though, we're at 76 in Rhinelander, a southwest breeze around 9. The pressure is falling as low pressure is approaching the area from the west over in Wausau 82 for you again with that west wind around 16 right now getting a little brisk out there and that pressure falling in Wausau as well around the horn temperatures hanging out from the 60s and 70s to a couple low 80s out there uh, very normal the average high being 80 we're close to that today uh, but tomorrow not so much because a cold front is in the region and look at this 68 is the forecasted high temperature tomorrow that you're gonna feel that again the average high being 80 but then a slow climb, right? 72 for Friday, 80 on Saturday, 82 for Sunday, and then hanging out near average through much of next week. And overall, uh, the long range trend now is for above average temperatures through the middle portions of next week. That could firmly put us back in the mid, even upper 80s by this time next week. Here's this uh, view from space. You can see lots of light rain showers out there. There's not a lot going on here, uh, but they're right over north central Wisconsin. If you get under one of these, it's a quick burst or a quick downpour and then it moves over to the east of us. But overall, they'll be dying out after sunset tonight. And then tomorrow, same story, right? So here is the atmosphere coming our way for tomorrow. The air above us is very cold. That gives way to showers through the afternoon as the ground gets heated up. And that'll likely bring us a couple of showers tomorrow with temperatures hanging out in the 60s. And behind that, you can see this thing kind of spins out of here tomorrow evening. We'll get some really nice weather in here for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Our forecast then for tonight, though, is mostly cloudy skies, not partly cloudy skies, a couple of sprinkles out there with low temperatures down near 53. Your full forecast at 5 o'clock. Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Scher, DC with the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau. Are you one of the millions of people suffering with the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy? Your symptoms may include numbness and tingling in your feet or hands, difficulty sleeping from leg or foot discomfort, and debilitating balance problems. I have good news for you. You can now get relief with our breakthrough treatment method without the use of drugs or surgery. Our treatments help to heal damaged nerves that cause peripheral neuropathy. If left untreated, you may eventually end up with a walker or wheelchair, so don't delay. Call our office now to schedule an appointment to see if our treatment methods are right for you. We will do a painless neuropathy severity exam to determine the amount of nerve loss. If you qualify for our treatment, it can truly change your life. Start living your life pain-free. Call today.
RVA has helped me learn by giving me more hands-on activities. I can watch his writing develop. He has confidence to ask questions of his teachers if he doesn't understand. He's composing his own schedule, which is a lot like what a young adult is going to need to learn how to do, and he's learning that at 11. My favorite part about being in the RVA is all the amazing clubs. I get on some clubs, and then I realize that there are so many people like me. Wet basement got you down? Is that damp, musty odor preventing you from using your home the way you want to? A wet, damp basement is a real problem that can worsen asthma and allergies, affect indoor air quality, and even damage your valuables. Let SureDry protect your home. When it comes to basements, nobody does it better. SureDry will transform your basement into dry, usable space and improve the air quality of your entire home. Call SureDry today. As owner of Wisconsin's largest construction company, I have a blueprint, a plan for every project. So here's mine for Wisconsin. I'll stand up to the radical left and their socialist agenda. We'll back the blue and get tough on violent crime. Bad guys, they're not going to like me. I'll crack down on election fraud and keep schools open five days a week, no matter what Fauci says. I'm Tim Michaels, and that's my plan. Now let's get to work. Here we Welcome go. Welcome back to Up North at 4. <laughs> Megan, Laura joining us from Food for Kids. It's always a pleasure to Thank see you, you guys. Welcome you guys back. have been on yes. before plenty of times. We've talked about Food for Kids before, but there's always someone out there that's like, what, what the it? heck is Food for Kids, right? So I feel like we just got to start there. Mm -hmm. What is Food for Kids? What is it that you guys do? Sure, so we're an all-volunteer organization that uh, every October we get together at the Lakeland Union High School. Uh, we are, this year we're looking for 600 volunteers to come. We have two different shifts. During those shifts, you come, you work as a group to package food. Uh, we do rice and beans, we do oatmeal and cinnamon, and that gets dispersed to the local food pantries as well as other areas of the world that it's needed. Mm. So you guys heard it, that's 600 volunteers. Mm -hmm. You need lots of help, yes. but you deliver lots of good, right? And this could be, you have a big day coming up, October 22nd, I believe is the big, what is on the 22nd? That's the actual packaging day. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so until then, we're looking for fundraising and volunteers to sign up, correct? Yes, yep. Okay. Yep, we're going to be mailing out some donation letters to past don donors and, um, hopefully raising some money. Uh, last year we raised 20000 Wow. And that, that bought the bulk food that we repackage into family-sized meals. Okay. okay. And so 600 is sort of like our goal, right, right. for the amount of people we're looking for? 300 per shift. 300 per shift. Right. Uh, what exactly does that, and all, I'm sure there's people out there who are interested, mm -hmm. what, what, does, what do those shifts look like? Just what kind of work are they going to be doing? So they come in, we have table hosts who will bring them to a table, show them how every, every person has a job. Okay. There's different, you know, people that have to pour it in, people that have to package it, mm -hmm. seal it, put it on the table, and then it gets taken away in a box. Okay. And then we take those boxes, they get put on a semi-truck for, for those that'll mm -hmm. get uh, sent out uh, from the area. Otherwise, we have local food pantries that come and pick up directly from the site that day. Okay, and I've done this before, and the food that gets shipped around the world, it's amazing what a small amount of food can do. You know, we're Americans, we eat a lot, right? But not everybody does, right? Yeah. There's a lot of nutrition that goes in these packages, correct? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yep, there's nutrients, vitamins, um, and the rice and beans, it does, it goes a long way. I think mm -hmm. the rice and beans has eight meals, in a bag, I believe, mm -hmm. and the oatmeal is six bags oh. or, or six meals in a bag. So yeah, it really that one bag does go a long way. Yeah, and obviously we're looking for some volunteers as well. Is this something that anybody can do? I mean, do we any, gotta go do some tests or what's going on? Any I can just sign age? Up. No, any, any age. age. Yep. Okay, you'd hire um, Nate and I. Yes, well, we would. Uh, <laughs> we would. <laughs> That's where we get you. We, That's where we're, we get you. we're already in enlisted Dan. Okay. He's going to come. Okay, so, so you guys got to come. We got to hold Dan Hagen to it that he's yeah. going to be coming? Yeah. All right. And, and so you know, it's at the high school, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lakeland Union High School is where this is packaged. Okay. So set up is the night before on the 21st. We need we volunteers for that too mm -hmm. to come help set up. Right. Yep. And there's a website that, or a, a link. Facebook and a sign up link. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Easy enough. So, and of course, if people are interested, they can go check out that website, yep. the Facebook page as well. My question is this if Jeff and I show up, I'm not very picky 
But do I get a shirt? Yeah, we actually I do say the shirts are cool. Shirts. Okay, sure. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's how you'll get me in there. So <laughs> the free really shirt. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, there's other reasons too. Mm. Hey, that promotion. The shirt oh, though. The good. shirt's cool. I'll work on him. The best part. Yeah, <laughs> it's a feel good moment when you're there mm -hmm. participating yeah. and helping kids. Um, our backpack program in town mm -hmm. is is a good program because it's hard to believe, but in the Manaqua Lakeland area. Uh, that a child would go home on Friday after school and not eat again mm, until, until Monday, Monday morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, so, it's it's so hard to realize how close to home it is for a lot of people. And we, we appreciate you guys coming on to chat with us and Thanks spread so the much. word out there and hopefully get some more volunteers signing yes. up in the near yes. future. So we're going to take a quick break here on Up North at 4. Stick with us. Sign up, people. Sign up. Visit Wildberry Market, the premier natural food store in the North Woods, for all of your organic food and health needs. Grab a healthy lunch on the go, made fresh daily by our deli. Eat well, live well, be well. Wildberry Market in Minocqua and online. Roof warranties are all about trust. Your trust in GAF, a time-tested company, and our trust in our master elite contractors. They're trained, licensed, insured, and only they can offer our best warranties. Call Oneida Roofing today. At Mole Lake Casino and Lodge, get great deals at check-in. Thank you very much. Great deals at the Players Club. Great times in the lounge with your friends when you're ready to party. And specials all week long at the Cafe Manuman, like our Friday night fit for a king fish fry. It's great to be the king. Mole Lake Casino and Lodge, where everyone is treated like a king. After years of neglect, Tony Evers repaired nearly 5,000 miles of roads across Wisconsin. In fact, if you took all the roads Tony Evers repaired and laid them end to end, they'd stretch from Rhinelander all the way to Miami and all the way back. Folks, politics doesn't have to be divisive. I'll work with anybody, Republicans or Democrats, to get the results that matter. Tony Evers, he's fixing our roads and doing the right thing for Wisconsin. It's time to amp up the fun at your local Ford dealer. The Summer Supercharged Sales Event is here. So stop by your Ford dealer today and check out great offers on select Ford vehicles. Then discover how Ford can take your summer to a whole new level. Choose Flex Buy on a 2022 Ford Escape or Edge SUV and get 0% APR financing for 66 months. The 154th Wisconsin Valley Fair, August 2nd through the 7th, featuring Lee Greenwood and fireworks from Fireworks Country, Carly Pierce. 38 Special, The Draft Horse Show, and Demo Derby, plus two nights with the Dakota Rodeo Company. Grab your favorite fair food and see the livestock exhibits and more. Don't miss the Wisconsin Valley Fair at Marathon Park in Wausau. Brought to you by these fine sponsors. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Kitchen Bath Mart. Welcome back here to Up North at 4. I'm down in Wausau with Jerry Brickner at Brickner's Auto. And you were mentioning a very, very cool event that's going on this Friday, right? A golf outing. What is this golf outing all about? There's a lot going on, I know, and we'll get there, but just tell me a little bit about what the idea was behind this golf outing. So, WATIA, Wisconsin Auto and Truck Education Association, is something we started 23 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, we recruit students as to, into the automotive industry. This is our one fundraiser that we've had for, I think this is the 23rd annual. The one fundraiser that we have, and we do the golf outing. And then uh, in the evening, there's um, hors d'oeuvres and food and wine mm -hmm. and beer and sodas. And at 7 o'clock, Vic Ferrari plays. Mm -hmm. So the band is on. And then at 8.30, we have a drawing. Uh, somebody's going to win a new car. That's a guarantee. Guaranteed. Someone's winning a car on Friday. Someone's winning a car on Friday. Okay. If they bought a ticket. Okay. So you can get the tickets. Go to watia.org, and uh, the phone number for the office is there. You can call if there's tickets left. You can buy them. I know there are some left. I don't know how many. Um, otherwise, you can just come to the event and pay there to get in for the evening festivities. Okay. And how, how much are these tickets? Tickets are $100 a piece. Okay. They get you into the event, and then they also get you into the drawing for a new car. And then we also do a drawing for $1,000. 
And then at 10 o'clock, the band stops, and we have an awesome fireworks show. Oof, so we're covering everything. We got all the fun stuff going on here is what I'm hearing. Sun up till sundown. Love that. And even if you're not a golfer, this is something that anyone can take part in, right? Absolutely. The evening event is open to anybody. Okay. So, you know, my golf game is atrocious, <laughs> but if I want to come have some drinks, have some food, listen to some music, this is the place to be, right? This is the place. Greenwood Hills, Friday night. Mm-hmm. Starts at five. The band kicks in at seven. I love that. And obviously this is for Watia, which you mentioned earlier. Uh, in 23 years, you were saying, right? That since this whole organization, I guess, if you will, has sort of begun. The organization has been here longer than that, but mm-hmm. it's 23 years that we've done this charity golf event. Okay. Uh, to raise funds to fund the wheels to work programs that we do, uh, the commute to career programs that we do. And you can find this all at watia.org. Mm-hmm. It explains all that in there, mm-hmm. what, what our mission is and what we do for the community. Yeah, so a lot of stuff for the community. A lot of different dealerships in the Wassa area are involved. And it's, you were mentioning too, off the camera, that it's something that everyone kind of benefits from, even though you might be competitors or you might be rivals. But just getting more people into the industry is something that benefits Everybody, correct? So it's, you're right. It's not just the new car dealers in the area. We have used car franchises in, involved, and we also have independent repair facilities. You know, the Olsen Tire and Auto, the Grease Box, uh, they're all part of it. And now we've started the body shops. We're getting them involved because we've created, uh, through NTC and Watia, we have an auto body program actually starts uh, August 3rd. Oh, nice. So if, you know, if somebody out there is watching this, maybe like, I, you know, I've always had a, a passion for cars. I've never actually gone and taken the courses, you know, required or maybe gotten a job within an auto body shop. Is this something that they could reach out for and get some more information? You call our office and we will get you a career path. We work with the high schools for a career path. So it goes from high school into the technical schools and then into the dealerships. Uh, as apprentices or mm-hmm. independents as apprentices. How so, long does that take? Like, how long is that timeline usually? I'm just out of, out of curiosity. Well, so I've had several of my employees have gone through this program. They start out in high school, they take shop classes, they come to work for me as an apprentice. There's a guidelines that they have to follow. They get into MTC, and a lot of them are sponsored. Um, we, we have scholarships that we give away to the technical colleges for students to get into the automotive program. And sometimes the, the business will sponsor it, so they'll pay for it all. They get a snap-on toolbox when they get the scholarship. So they're already starting out with $5,000 worth of tools, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. And so they go to school, they learn there, but they also come and work at your, at, for the employer to get hands-on experience. Once they graduate, then they come and work for you full time. So it's sort of a full circle thing then for everybody, and it just it, it benefits everybody like we were saying before it's a career path Mm -hmm. absolutely and obviously this golf outing will help sort of uh hopefully get more people get their foot in the door get involved with this program hopefully get more jobs as well in the area right that's sort of like the long-term plan i would assume i love that so much and of course if somebody wants more information on this outing or just watia itself where could they find that info watia.org there's phone numbers in there that tells you about how you can get tickets if you want to buy them ahead of time Everything about Watia is in there, watia.org. Sounds great. Well, Jerry, I appreciate you taking the time to Thank chat you. with me today, and we'll take a quick break here on Up North at 4. Stick with us. But. <laughs> Twerk! Yeah! You can say any word. Finagle. Call the mail. Oof, just don't say. Who is <laughs> the password? Password premieres August 9th on NBC. Thursday on Today. Country music sensation Marin Morris. Meet her in the middle of New York City. Live on the Plaza. It's the City Concert Series. Only on Today. Seen Tim Michaels' phony ads about special interests? I'm not beholden to them. The truth? Tim Michaels is one of them. He was a leader of a special interest group lobbying for gas tax hikes. Michaels sat on the board as they repeatedly pushed higher gas taxes and automatic yearly gas tax hikes. Michaels' company bankrolled a special interest who even backed Tony Evers' gas tax increase. Special interests, higher taxes, the real Tim Michaels. At Legacy, we transform your old, beat-up concrete into a beautiful, durable surface in one day. Hi, I'm Joey with Legacy Concrete Coatings. We specialize in garages, patios, 
pool decks, basements, and more. We don't just coat over your old concrete. We start by grinding it down, then we apply the base coat and chip and seal it with our own proprietary sealant that will never chip or peel. Our coatings are beautiful, durable, ridiculously easy to clean, and are backed by our exclusive lifetime warranty. Our in-house team is ready to answer any questions that you have before and after the install. And right now on all projects, we're offering 15% off. Call the number shown below or visit our website for your new floor today. Light up your home, inside and out. Walk through Menards Lighting Showroom and find your style with Patriot Lighting. Menards has over 1,500 exterior lights to choose from to enhance your curb appeal. All outdoor lights are 11% off. Brighten up your room with our huge selection of LED light bulbs from Fight Electric. These 60-watt equivalent bulbs are long-lasting. A four-pack is just $4.35 after 11% rebate at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Welcome back to Up North at 4. Laura Van Valkenburg joining us now to talk about the ride with Liney. Yes. I know people out there just did a double take. They heard Liney like, mm -hmm. like Liney Kugels. Google. That is That's right. exactly what we're talking about, That's right? What's exactly going on right. this weekend? So this upcoming Saturday, July 30th, we will be hosting the uh, 11th annual Ride with Liney. And it is a bicycle fundraiser. And it's hosted by Great Headwaters Trails, which is the organization I volunteer with. Um, and it features Dick Leinenkugel. Mm -hmm. And for those that aren't familiar with Dick Leinenkugel, he is the president of Leinenkugel Beer. And his great-great-grandfather um, founded the company mm -hmm. 155 years ago. So it's got a long history in Wisconsin. It's a great legacy in Wisconsin. I'm a big fan of their work, I'm too. I'm pretty sure we're all familiar. <laughs> Come on. You'd be surprised. I know. There are a few out there that don't know. So it's a bike ride? Yes. Uh, yes. And it, how far is the ride go for? Well, we actually have three different choices for people because some people can do long rides right. and some mm -hmm. people um, prefer shorter rides. Mm -hmm. So we have um, a 40-mile road ride. And again, this is bicycles. So um, it departs from Conover and it routes up to Land Lakes, Phelps, and back to Conover. Some beautiful ride. Beautiful mm -hmm. back roads. Very, very low traffic roads. Great pavement. So those that like to ride on the road, that would be ideal. And that departs at 9 a.m. There's video there now. Look how beautiful it yeah, looks. It's yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. And then at 10 o'clock, we have a little bit shorter ride, and that is going to be a trail ride on the Conover Phelps Trail. Okay. And this, the reason why um, we're having the event in Conover, mm -hmm. I should have explained this a little bit earlier, is the ride used to be held. I was going to say. It's, this is the 11th annual ride. But the first time it's but The first time in, in Conover. Conover. Right, and yeah. why is that... Um, Wilderness Lakes Trails, a group out of Land Lakes, used to host the event. For 10 years, it was a very, very popular, well-attended event. Last year, at the end of the ride, they said, this is it, we've reached our funding goals, and we're not going to do it anymore. Fortunately for our group, mm -hmm. um, Dick Leinenkugel was aware of what our goals are and our funding needs and so forth. So he came to us and said, hey, would it help if I you know, did this with you guys? And with Wilderness Lake Trails Blessing, we mm -hmm. took it over and we've moved mm -hmm. it to Conover. And the reason for that is our group, Great Headwaters Trails, um, developed that trail from Conover to Phelps. Mm -hmm. And we Got just it. completed it last summer. So it makes sense that we move it to kind Conover. showcase yeah. it a little and bit. And showcase right? it. And yeah. that facility, the park in Conover, is just fantastic. It'll be a great location. So back to the rides. We've yeah. got the middle ride, which is about 20 miles, and that will go all the way from Conover to Phelps and back. It's very flat for the first um, 8.7 miles as it follows the railroad bed. Mm -hmm. And then the last mile and a half, um, that's actually paved the last mile and a half, and that is um, very hilly into Phelps as it comes down I'd to the like lake. That. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, check up some yeah. speed. Yeah, why not? And that leaves at 10 o'clock. And then at 11 o'clock, we have a shorter ride. And this one only goes halfway to Phelps and back. And, okay. and Dick Leinenkugel actually leads that group. And so, that's actually the most popular of the rides, even though it's the shorter one. How but people you want say, to ride with Dick. How often can you say you ride with Liney? Right? right? I, I love how generous Leinenkugels are. Yes. Like you hear them in lots of circles generating and giving Very their money so. to good causes Absolutely. like this. Very so, much so. Uh, there's a ride for everybody. When's yep. the event? It is this Saturday, this July Saturday. 30th in Conover, and people can register online in advance for $40 or on day of uh, for $45. So if you've got people kind of waiting to see what the weather's going to be like, mm -hmm. Jeff, looks good. it looks, looks great, great, so don't tell me anything different. <laughs> cool <laughs> nights, nice days, you're good to go. Yeah. We're going to hold Jeff to that, yes. of course. So, Laura, we appreciate it. We yeah. hope for a Thank big turnout on Saturday. We're going to take a break here Thank on Up North at 4. We'll see you after that.
Bone Deer and Friends Gallery in downtown Boulder Junction offers an eclectic mix of contemporary fine art and craft, antiques, professional custom frame service, and many other smaller gift items. Featuring the work of gallery owner Sarah Mender, as well as over 150 other regional artists. All your local news is just a swipe away with the new and improved NewsWatch 12 mobile app. Download the app on all your devices for local news, school closings, full video newscasts, and more. NewsWatch 12, news from where you live. Your home where life happens. Family and friends gather. Memories are created. Locally family-owned business serving Rhinelander, Eagle River, and surrounding areas. Come into one of our stores located in Eagle River or Rhinelander and work closely with one of our creative kitchen designers on creating your dream kitchen. Eagle River Cabinets, building relationships, one cabinet at a time. Looking for a grill or smoker? Powerhouse Lawn and Leisure has the best selection around. Charcoal, pellet, wood-fired and gas, we've got them all. Plus 115 sauces and rubs to choose from. You'll find something you love. Powerhouse Lawn and Leisure in Merrill. Remember as a kid, if you could dream it, you could do it? Well, you still can. Now during the Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event. And with great offers on select Ford vehicles. Just move on. You'll not only bring back the fun, you'll supercharge it. So when the sun goes down, you'll just be getting started. Now place your order and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months on select F-150 trucks and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. Enter a haven for European-style baking at Boulangerie in Tomahawk. Fresh breads, pastries, soups, salads, and more. The finest ingredients prepared from scratch with a fanatical eye for detail. Simply the best. You deserve Boulangerie. Birchfield Nurseries of Rhinelander has been servicing northern Wisconsin since 1950. Birchfield Nurseries grows all of their own plants and you will always find healthy, hearty, and well-maintained plants. Let their experienced staff answer any of your landscaping questions. They also handle shredded bark mulch, compost, and topsoil. For all your lawn care needs, they carry sod, premium gas seed, and lawn fertilizer. Consider one of the professional landscape crews to do the work for you. If you want experience with quality, call Birchfield Nurseries. Welcome back. So if you happen to go to the Oneida County Fair tomorrow. Starts tomorrow. Smart starts tomorrow. You can put Jeff Weller <laughs> underwater. You're going to be at a, in a I'll dunk be in tank. a dunk tank from 2 to 3 at the fair tomorrow. And again, I think again on Friday. Uh, what day is today? On Friday as well. So okay. we'll see. So I'm tomorrow for sure. Loosening up my arm a little bit. If you'd ever want to like get out your frustration on me and you oh, know, I've got a lot the of forecast those. is wrong and I've ruined your wedding or something, you come throw a ball at me. Ton of frustrations that I will be taking out on this. I hear the phone ringing now. Right? Dunk tank. <laughs> so, all right, Jeff, I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. I'm yep. looking forward to the fair as well. We're going to be out there throughout the rest of the week. So come join us. Come hang out. In the meantime, that'll do it for our show today. We'll see you tomorrow on Up North at Four. <laughs> <laughs>